Young chimpanzees in a West African forest form either trusting or independent ties with their mothers, but they do not display the confused, disorganized attachment style seen in many human children. That pattern, common among orphan chimps raised by people, seems to be absent when animals grow up under natural survival pressures. Field observers followed mother-infant pairs in Thai National Park, Côte d'Ivoire, for four years. They noted the parenting style of the chimpanzees. In particular, the experts studied how youngsters reacted when separated from or reunited with their mothers, and how boldly they explored. Most fell into one of two familiar human categories. Some were secure, they checked in with their mothers during stress, then ranged out with confidence. Others showed insecure avoidant attachment. They coped alone and rarely sought comfort. No infant behaved in the erratic approach and retreat fashion that defines disorganized attachment. According to attachment theory, Secure bonds foster resilience while insecure or disorganized ties can predict later anxiety or social trouble. In people, about one child in four shows the disorganized style. Among captive, human-reared chimp orphans, the rate soars to three out of five. The absence of that pattern in nature raises a striking possibility. The style may be maladaptive outside of sheltered environments. Disorganized attachment often follows trauma, fear, or unpredictable care. In forest life, any infant who hesitates at danger may expose itself to leopards, rival males, or territorial disputes. In the wild, we found no evidence of disorganized attachment patterns among chimpanzees, which supports the hypothesis that this type of attachment may not be an adaptive survival strategy in the face of environmental constraints, said first author Eleanor Rowland, a scientist at the Institute of Cognitive Sciences, Mark Generod. If the response ever arises, its bearers probably fail to thrive or reproduce, erasing the trait from the visible population. Captive chimpanzees, by contrast, may live inside small enclosures, face no predators, and rely on rotating human keepers. That unstable social mix can trigger the conflicted behaviors cataloged in laboratory tests. A parallel may exist for modern children who experience institutional care, high caregiver turnover, or chronic stress. A deeper look at the findings nudges parents and policymakers to ask hard questions. Our results deepen our understanding of chimpanzees' social development and show that humans and chimpanzees are not so different after all, Roland said. But they also make us think, have some modern human institutions or caregiving practices moved away from what is best for infant development? Secure attachment in the forest emerged through steady proximity, gentle reassurance, and the freedom to explore within sight of the mother. Avoidant youngsters still stayed near but preferred self-soothing. Both strategies, the authors argue, work under natural constraints. The third style appears only when normal mammalian care breaks down. If children in wealthy societies show that style at notable rates, the disruption may lie not in genetics but in caregiving routines. Overstretched parents, frequent moves, rushed schedules, devices replacing touch. By identifying attachment patterns in wild chimpanzees, we provide important insights into the roots of human social behavior, said senior author Roman Wittig from the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology. The work links psychology with field primatology and anthropology, tracing how early bonds shape adult society across species. Our findings suggest that shared attachment strategies in primates may reflect a common evolutionary heritage, said co-author Catherine Crockford, a scientist at the same institute. The high prevalence of disorganized attachment in humans and captive orphan chimpanzees, in contrast to wild chimpanzees, also supports the idea that the rearing environment plays an important role in shaping attachment types. That insight underlines a long-standing debate 
Are certain emotional disorders products of modern life rather than ancient biology? If wild primates who share 98% of human DNA avoid a pattern linked to later mood and relationship problems, then context, not species, may tip the scale. Protecting chimpanzee habitats does more than save a charismatic animal. It preserves the social conditions that allow normal attachment to flourish. Orphan rescue centers might adjust caregiving protocols to reduce inconsistency and replicate maternal security rather than relying on multiple human feeders. In the human realm, the research supports policies that stabilize early care parental leave, low child to caregiver ratios, trauma-informed schooling. The Thai study followed infants until weaning, around age 4 to 5. Future projects could test whether early attachment style predicts later rank, alliance skills, or parenting success. Researchers also plan to compare bonobos, whose matriarchal societies differ from chimpanzees, and to track hormone levels that might signal stress during separations. At the same time, developmental psychologists may revisit human data from cultures with extended family caregiving or from hunter-gatherer groups that mirror ancestral conditions. If disorganized attachment drops in those settings, it would strengthen the case that modern disruptions, not innate tendencies, fuel the pattern. In the forest canopy, a mother chimp pauses her infant scrambling over branches before returning to her side. The scene looks simple, yet it echoes deep principles about trust, risk, and survival. By watching our closest relatives, scientists remind us that the first ties we form still guide us decades later, and that nurturing those ties may be one of the most ancient and vital tasks any society undertakes. For the full story, find a link to the article on Earth.com in the description.